global. You could say that he was getting to the popularity level of Shaq. The complexion of this team, as far as psychologically, changed a little bit. And the more you heard, whose team is it? Is it Shaq's team? Is it Penny's team? When it gets out of whack and he starts saying, is it this guy's team or is it that guy's team? That's about the beginning of that team getting split down the middle. Orlando's been very good. I suspect, though, that there's some problems on the Magic. I don't think that they have a lot of harmony on that team. Whatever network we were on at that time, they would say Shaq and the Orlando Magic versus, you know, whoever. If they said Penny and the Orlando Magic, then I think there was exception taken to that. Shaq needed to feel like he was the man. Throughout his entire career, this has been a recurring theme. But I think as much as Shaq wanted to be the man, he understood, I need this guy to help me win. Penny and Shaq got along, but there was also all these things outside. Agents come into play now. Poston Brothers over here with Penny and Leonard Armato over here with Shaquille. They're fighting for their piece of the pie too. The shoe companies were rivals. I think that played into a little bit of the tension at times that we kind of saw between Shaq and Penny. There's only one thing in my head, the championship. Reebok came out with a commercial where Shaq was sitting on the couch and Shaq reached back and knocked Lil Penny off the couch. This is my planet. You got room for a brother on your planet. When I first saw the commercial, I was like, whoa, it definitely sparked some tension. I just wanted to have a little fun, but I guess they didn't see it that way. Like, he didn't talk to me for like a week. Oh, come on, Shaq. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Every great team needs a one-two punch. And we were a one-two punch. But in my mind, I'm the president and he was the vice president. I always said the same thing in Shaq's team. I knew that he was the reason why we were successful. Without him, it wouldn't have been anything, so I laid my ego to the side. Thinking about it now, I probably should have said, yeah, it's your team. I needed that useless title. Now that I sit back, who cares? But back then, when you're 20, 22, I cared. He cared. Everybody cared.